Hello, I'm Asa Butcher. Welcome to GB Times' brand new show focusing on the world of Chinese innovation. Chinovation, if you will. In this first program, we'll be taking a look at a few of China's latest innovations. Some will be weird, some will impress, and others will sit somewhere between the two. So sit back and prepare to enter the world of Chinovations. We kick off with a customer service innovation from Taobao, a Chinese online shopping site similar to Amazon and eBay. They are now offering their customers a service with a particularly personal touch. Their new Tao Girl feature allows customers to have their order delivered by a beautiful woman. Yes, for a small additional fee, you can order the Tao Girl of your choice to come to your home and personally hand over your package. At present, there is no word on the Tao Boy option or whether you could choose between a morning delivery that gives you a fresh face towel girl or an exhausted one in the late afternoon. You might also be left complaining that, hey, that's not the girl that I ordered. Perhaps this innovative first step could lead to the delivery girl coming into the customer's house and opening the package. What next? Perhaps nine months later, the towel girl will be delivering something else. Our next innovation is in the field of law and order, courtesy of the Chinese police. It appears that Kunming in Yan'an province is now being policed by a real Robocop. Well, okay, maybe not THE Robocop, more like a life-size version of a toy robot that some of us play with during the 1980s. The Kunming cop is an impressive two meters in height, and well, that's about all. He can't move, he doesn't speak, and his only weapon is his unforgiving stare. The idea is that law-abiding citizens can press a button on Kunming cop's stomach and justice will be served. In reality, it sends a signal to the local police station who can immediately dispatch help and also keep an eye via his surveillance camera eyes. Could this be the law enforcement of the future or simply some arrested development on the part of the Chinese? I guess we do have the right to remain silent. Our final innovation from China stays close to the theme of law and order, but this time it's about circumventing a law that keeps you safe. It seems that wearing a seatbelt and doubling your chance of surviving a car crash is too much for some Chinese drivers. So one enterprising individual has created a seatbelt t-shirt. Designed to fool the police into thinking the driver is buckled in safely and obeying Chinese traffic law, the t-shirt has quickly become the latest must-have trend. However, there's no word on how well blood stains come out of the fabric though. Anyway, as if a shirt with a diagonally striped motive would ever catch on in the West. <clears throat> oh. Well, that's all for today's show. If you have a Chinese innovation or an idea that might interest us, then please send us an email to innovations at gbtimes.com. This was Chinovation. I am Asa Butcher, and thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>